lot of shows still coming up. Before we go any further, I did want to, uh, I wanted to address something. There's a lot of anger in America today. Let's face it, between the ongoing war in Iraq, religious debates, political squabbles, tempers are really running high. And we have one person on our staff who's particularly angry, one of our graphic designers, Pierre Bernard. There he is. Yeah. Just, just look at the fury coming off that guy. Well, <laughs> pure hate. Pierre says he knows how America feels, and he is ready to articulate our anger for us. So here he is once again in a little segment we like to call Pierre Bernard's Recliner of Rage. Pierre Bernard, Recliner of Rage! Hello there, Pierre. Are you uh, comfortable and angry? Comfortable and furious, Conan. <laughs> and go ahead, old chum, and speak for America. Okay, here goes. As I've mentioned before, I'm a huge fan of Japanese anime which I think is far better produced and more provocative than American animation. Well, a few weeks ago, at an event dedicated to Japanese anime, I was lucky enough to encounter seven young women known collectively as the babes of anime. <laughs> These beautiful ladies do voiceover work for several anime series, including Trinity Blood, about the Catholic, the Catholic Church battling vampires, and Bubblegum Crisis, which features sexy, futuristic policewomen taking on monsters that ordinary law enforcement can't handle. <laughs> I'm particularly attracted to Officer Celia Stingray and Nene Romanova, who often appear unannounced in my dreams. <laughs> so you can imagine how excited I was to meet the gorgeous women who provide the voices for these characters. And if that weren't thrilling enough, I then found out that there's a channel called the Anime Network that runs anime 24 hours a day. That meant I could hear these ladies' voices continuously every day while staring at my large collectible Babes of Anime poster, which is so hot it could melt paint off the wall. <laughs> Unfortunately, I was then shocked to learn that no East Coast cable <laughs> provider provides the Anime Network. The Cartoon Network is available here but they've been cutting back drastically on the number of anime programs in favor of live-action alternatives. And the best they can offer animation-wise is the talking butt detective show, Assy <laughs> McGee. Bottom line, America, East Coast cable companies should carry the anime network 24 hours a day so I can always hear the angelic voices of Celia Stingray and Nene. <laughs> Thank you, Pierre. I'm sure there's at least one or two other people in the world who know exactly how you feel. Keep the faith, amigos. All right. We'll uh, take a break when we come back. Marilyn Rice Cubs here. Stick around.